can see with MIUI you get a bunch of crap apps that you don't actually need so for example uh, as you can see the emoji keyboard no one uses no one wants it but you can't just uninstall it there is no option to uninstall it and whatever you do it does nothing you even if you restrict the background activity it keeps running in the background every few often and it's really infuriating so what can you do for apps like this so the big culprit are the emoji app the gets app uh, the gets app the uh, miui owns play store and the other stupid app that you don't want to run but it keeps running in the background and you can't uninstall it unless uh, you know you have a computer and you do bit of uh, this stuff uh, weird stuff so here's what you can do you can go into settings you can find digital well-being and parental control now this won't be for every android i believe it's for android 9 and above i believe so uh, you can just uh, go to play store and search for digital well-being if you can see it there you probably have it once you install it just make sure this is open for easy access then you can open digital well-being and now every app that bothers you in so one way or the other one way or the let's just start with that app what was that emoji keyboard yeah just set it to zero minutes and it will disable it completely so now that app won't run in the background it will be forced by the system this is a good alternative to uh, you know actually going to the PC and installing uninstalling those app with uh, uh, with the ADB tools and all uh, it's quite uh, technical I would say anything else I just want to look I have actually uninstalled a lot of the MIUI crap apps and now for example I don't want to see the weather I don't care I don't want this app to be running in the background I disable that also now it won't run uh, how, uh, let's say that you have disabled the app but you do want to run it as you can see the weather is grayed out and if you click on it it will say the timer has run out it will start again tomorrow you can just click on setting you can delete the timer for this app from here and then you can run the app if you want to okay yeah that's all